Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we are going to be using this tugboat right here called the Yoshino Maru. Now, this is going to be used as a tugboat to tug out a, I don't know, let's say a, a, a warhead or multiple warheads in order to hopefully destroy a Kraken. I don't know how this is going to work, but we're going to go ahead and build a barge really quickly that can hold a bunch of warheads. We're then going to get the Kraken out here and hopefully explode it. Whether this is going to work or not, I'm not sure, but let's get to it. Alright, so let's go ahead and get inside, get upstairs into where we are going to be driving this thing from. Uh, and I guess get it going. The only thing that I will say is this is actually a steam tugboat. So we're going to have to go down to wherever the boilers are, which I'm assuming is all the way at the bottom. Crew space, that doesn't seem like the right place to go to. The store? No, I think we're in the wrong side of the ship. But yeah, we need to find the boiler as soon as possible to turn this thing on and get it moved? That's the toilet. That's not going to help us. All right, let's go backwards. Boiler room, keep closed. Well, I need to go in there. All right, here we go. So what is this? Steam cut off? I don't think we need that. Let's go downstairs. Here we go. All right, so we got toggle pumps, igniter. Has that done anything? We got a fire pump right there. Oh no, it's working. It seems to have turned on anyway. All right, fantastic. Is that a light switch? Hey, there we go. Nice. We can actually see. Good. Okay, right. Well, we're going to make this thing move. We're going to get it out of the way. And then once we've done that, we'll build ourselves a little tug thing in my bobby. Uh, a little barge thing in my bobby, is what I meant to say. And, I don't know, tug it, I suppose. Alright, so I was looking around a little bit, and I found this. So, this is something that can be moved side to side. Um, but it feels weird, because it seems quite high on the ship. But it does have two winches, but I don't know what you would do with this? If anybody knows, let me know, because I don't feel like we should be towing from these guys. Uh, we'll probably end up towing from that guy down there, which makes more sense. I don't know what this is. I, I really don't. That's strange. Anyway, uh, there's a bunch of detail on this ship. You guys should definitely check it out. It is amazing. There's even a lifeboat right there with a divot, uh, which is pretty sick. Um, oh, wait. Oh, we might actually be ready to move very soon. I'm just waiting for the boilers to actually heat up so we can go, but um, that seems to be taking ages. Unless it's about to work. Nope, I've come downstairs, and the boiler pressure is very, very little. So, uh, yeah, I say boiler pressure is little. It is literally zero. Uh, this is a big boiler. That is a big old boiler. We've got coal right here, just in case we need to put some coal in. Hopefully, we don't need to do that um, for a little while. We're going to be okay. Um, and then over here, we've got all of our... I guess this is for flooding? Yeah, I'm assuming so, anyway. All right, cool. So, we're still waiting for this to get up to temperature. Once that's at the right temperature... The boiler pressure should go, and our boat should start moving forwards. It's almost 100. Here we go. 3, 2, 1. 100. There we go. Boiler pressure should now go up. It's still at zero. <laughs> oh, there we go. Nice. All right, cool. So it is going to start moving very soon. Uh, let's get outside and run to the front where we can actually control this thing from. Here we go. Run up the stairs. Get inside the helm. Is it, is it working? I don't feel like it is working. Uh, ah, well that's annoying. When, oh, there we go. Hey, nice, it is actually moving now. So this isn't even the main point of the video. The main point of the video is we're gonna create a bomb barge and we're gonna get it out there and destroy the Kraken. Hopefully it goes for the bomb barge rather than this. That's a good point actually, it might go for the ship. We'll see. Okay guys, so I am redoing one of the barges we built previously, which is this guy right here, and we're going to use this. So, let's go ahead and put ourselves a little bit of a button in here, uh, and this will be what we have to press in order to actually detonate all of these massive warheads. So I'm hoping the Kraken wraps itself around this, and all of these warheads will be enough damage to hopefully, you know what, let's put a tiny delay on it, just so we have a chance to get away. Here we go. Delay? Yes. We're going to say, I don't know, five seconds? Yes. All right, this is going to be fine. So let me attach all this together. We're then going to rope this up to our tug and pull this away. 
Okay, it seems like I have messed with the buoyancy of that thing. It is kind of underwater a little bit, but that's that's fine. So we need to reverse the tugboat up to be able to pull that thing out into the ocean. And then, I don't know, we'll, we'll kaboom it. It'll be great. Okie dokie, reversa, reversa. Here we go. Let's go backwards. Hopefully we don't ram into it too hard. Uh, also, I can't really see. <laughs> I can't see backwards from inside of here, so... That's a thing. All right, here we go. We're going actually quite quick, so let's do this again. There we go. We're going to reverse up enough so that we, we I don't know, touch onto it, maybe. Oh, no, this will be fine. All right, let's get ourselves some ropes, attach on, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, I've got a rope. Let's go ahead and attach it straight onto this guy. Here we go, right in the center. Yes, there we go. Excellent. And now we can tug it out. And, yeah, I'm assuming it will go for that, but it might go for this. If it does go for this, I don't know what we do about that. It, it doesn't matter. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go, guys. It is actually able to tow it. This thing looks beautiful, by the way. It looks so nice. Um, I wish I could build like this. Unfortunately, I just can't. But anyway, <laughs> um, we're going out into the ocean. It's all looking pretty good so far. It's just going to take me quite a while to get out there. But yeah, once we're out there, hopefully, kaboom! Alright guys, so I've seen why it's sinking. I accidentally deleted this piece right here, and presumably that piece right there. Which means this is, uh, I don't know, it's floating off ghost forces, which is insane. Um, because that's the only thing that would actually be keeping this thing afloat right now. So yeah, ghosts are keeping this thing floating. That's crazy. Anyway, we're going to be out there in no time, and uh, doing the damage that we need to do. Ten hours later. I figured I'd do that myself. Um, yes, it, it's been ages, and uh, the time is... It's getting to night time, so, so that's a thing. Uh, and it's taken me that long to get to here, which... Honestly, we can still see where we, where we left from without binoculars. But with binoculars, you can see it extremely clearly. If we look on the other side, there's Friendly Lighthouse. Um, so, yeah, we haven't really made it very far. So what we'll do is we'll keep going until it's deep enough and then I think there'll be a bed on board this boat somewhere and we'll go to bed and then when we wake up we can do some kraken hunting. Yes. Okay, it is night time. It is, it is very night time. Uh, okay, so we're going to leave the boat moving and I'm going to try and find... Ah, here we go. We've got the captain's room. I'm now going to go to sleep because... You know, there's no point in hunting a Kraken at night. You won't be able to see it. So we're going to go ahead and wake up in the morning. It seems like the weather's got worse, but eh, not to worry. It'll be fine. Let's go ahead and close that up. There we go. And I think we're deep enough now. So let's just go ahead and stop the engines and wait here until, I don't know, a Kraken attacks. Is that likely? Y yes, it is. It is. Alright, so, uh, what I'm gonna do is, because I know the Kraken is gonna come over here and try and attack both of these boats, either that one or this one, we're gonna go ahead and lower this down. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Lower, damn it! Damn it! Damn it, lowered! There we go, disconnect- oh, that wasn't very good. That- that was pathetic. Alright, there we go. It is now close to the water's edge. Let's go ahead and lower it down a little bit more. All right, make it flip a little bit. There we go. Yes, that's good. So we've now got that ready to go, just in case we need it, which I think we might. So we'll see. Uh, I'm also going to grab one of these, because I think that's kind of important. And now we wait. You know, I'm actually thinking uh, maybe we can... Okay. <laughs> thinking has to stop because we are about to be attacked. I don't even know where it is. I haven't seen it yet. But the Kraken is on its way, I guess? I don't know. Anyway, if it is on its way, which it very much... Oh, there it is. No, don't attack the boat. Attack the barge. I knew this was going to happen. Floor it. 
Floret, no! I want you to attack the barge! Maybe the barge is close enough. No, I don't think so. Oh, I'm getting inside. Close the... Ah! Close the door. All right. Are we under the... No way it is dragging me down. There is no way this is happening. What in the world? The Kraken is legitimately sinking my tugboat underneath the water. What in the world? No, it has fully grabbed me. Oh, yikes. All right, okay, wait. It, it might be close enough to the barge now. I'm running. I'm running to the barge. Close that up. All right, run, 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 run. Okay, the barge is like on top of my boat. I just need to push this button. Is it still on? Is that even on? I don't know. I'm swimming. Just in case. Oh, yes! I'm dead! <laughs> oh, it sounds like it might be dead too. Oh, we need to get over there quickly. Hold on, where is it? Where is it? Oh, I think it might have deleted my boat. It might have deleted the boat and the barge. Uh, but is the Kraken dead? It sounds like it might be. I don't know where it is. Can anyone see a Kraken? Oh, if we don't get to see the aftermath, did it actually happen? It did. It did happen, but like... I don't know where we were, so I don't know how to find a Kraken's body. You know what I mean? Guys... I'm dying. Guys, I am dying. Okay, uh... I don't know. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I, I mean... We tried, and we did... We did do a thing, but, uh, yeah, interesting. All right, I'm going to try that again, but instead of towing it out with a really nice tugboat, don't get me wrong, that tugboat was really nice, and I will be linking it down below, but I want to test out the barge. I want to see if the barge will actually annihilate the, uh, the Kraken if we need it to, which I think the Kraken is dead. There's no way it isn't, right? I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, let's do that. Alright guys, so unfortunately for us, um, I didn't fix this before spawning it in, so I've got to watch- mm, I've got to watch out really, really badly, actually, um, just so that I don't die. Uh, so yeah, I'm waiting here for the Kraken, we're in the ocean, we are nowhere near any land, oh, I guess there's some land over there, but um, yeah, I'm just waiting for the Kraken to attack, and we'll see if this works. I'm hoping it does. Alright guys, I had to spawn it in again because uh, the Kraken went missing, and this time the Kraken landed on my head, and is now, is it now just going to swim away? I need to keep an eye on this Kraken. It's just going to swim away. Am I not tasty enough for you? Am I, do I not taste very nice? Do I not smell very nice? Huh? Do, uh, huh? Huh? It's not wanting to attack me. I, I don't think it wants to attack the barge, whatever. Like, I, I don't care. You know, I, I don't even care if you attack the barge. I don't... I, I do. I want it to attack the barge so bad, but it won't do it. Come on! Attack the barge! No, it's not going to do it. Um... Oh. What was that noise? Did I just hear drumming? Wait, is it attacking? <gasps> no. Are you attacking? Is it dead? Is it... Is it dead? It's not moving. <laughs> uh, I don't know what's happened to the Kraken. It looks like it's froze. And it might be dead. I don't know. Oh, oh. Maybe it was just having a pause. Yeah. It's just having a little bit of a sleep. How do Kraken sleep? Just like they're attacking. But more sleepy-like. Interesting. Okay. Um... No, actually, I need to keep an eye on it. I don't think it's going to attack me. I mean, it looks like it's having a disco right now. Yeah, no. I'm going to give it a few more minutes. Seconds. A few more seconds. And if it doesn't attack me in a few more seconds, I'm going to allow it to drop out the sky onto a barge where I've pressed the button already and I've jumped away. And we'll see if that blows it up. Okay, yep, it's not attacking. Let's do it. Okay, here is the barge. Let's jump on board. Go ahead and push the button real quick. Here we go. And jump away. All right, Kraken should have landed. Shh. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Nice! I think that's a dead Kraken. 
I think that is it. So, okay, let me go. Where did it go? Yes, no, that looks dead to me. I think we did it. Oh, it doesn't sound dead. No, no, it is dead. There's no way that isn't dead. Um, so, it works, guys. If you want to kill a Kraken, build a Kraken bait barge and then blow it up. The only thing about the Kraken bait barge is that the Kraken doesn't want to be baited by it. So, you're going to have to spawn the Kraken on it. But, if you did add an engine or something like that to make it attack it, you'll be good. Anyway, uh, I'm going to end this video here for now. Uh, actually, no, I'm not. You know what? We're going to go ahead and have a little look around the tugboat a little bit more. Because we didn't really get to see it. So, let's go back to that. Okay, just in case you guys wanted to see it again, there it is. I don't think that time it actually killed it. I think it might have been... Yeah, I think that time it actually got away. Interesting. I've got to be a tiny bit slower on the button. Here we go. Three, two, one. There we go. Nice. Jump away. There we go. Yeah, so the Kraken does die. That's good. Anyway, let's go check out the boat. So yeah, here it is. Uh, there's a cargo hatch at the back. This is something that we didn't actually get to look at, but there is a cargo room right here. Uh, which looks like it has something for fluids in there. Uh, I don't know if you can put fluids in there, but kind of cool. Uh, we got the winch for pulling on the back side. We have a rope storage on the back side as well. Excellent. We have some rope anchors dotted around as well. There's some there, there's some there. If we run down the side, we have another store for a bunch of equipment. There's also some offshore power. Interesting. Let's have a little look inside of here. So this is the engine room, of course, uh, which engine room lights is right there. We have our logic space right here, which is full of logic, of course. Engine room looks fantastic on this thing. Not going to lie. Looks really good. Anyway, let's move forwards. There's another room. Actually, it's the same room, but you can get in there from there. We have a coal bunker right here. So this is for filling it up from the outside. Very nice. We have the cabin rooms right here, so that's obviously the captain's room. We've already seen that one because we've slept in it. This is the chief engineer's room. If we go downstairs, we have the crew space. So this is where everybody else sleeps. Honestly, not too bad in here. We have a med bed in the corner as well, just in case we need it. Yeah, not bad. We've also got an equipment room full of equipment. Fantastic. There you go. Now, that is actually pretty much everything on this boat in terms of stuff. We have a toilet right here. You poop into the floor. Interesting. Uh, and then we've got this at the front, which is another winch, just in case you need it. Got another rope storage right there. And yeah, overall, fantastic. It looks absolutely amazing as well. I think that's the best part about it. It just looks really cool. So yeah, anyway, if you guys want to check this out, I'll link it down below and you guys can mess around with it for yourself. Anyway, see you guys next time. Goodbye.